peace with men reading from scripture matthew chapter 5 verse 9 blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of god hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the lord conflicts arise when people have differences of opinions in a fallen world the tendency to ignore a conflict or suppress it by using force or threat or intimidation is very common but this violates the people in the conflict in god's kingdom it is a blessing to bring together those who are in conflict only then is it possible to resolve and restore a relationship so those who are at peace with god are responsible to pursue peace in their relationships with others these verses highlight that you and i ought to be a peace loving people so who are peacemakers peacemakers are those who make peace and not discord it signifies a relationship that is harmonious and not merely the absence of conflict or an uneasy truce it signifies parties holding differences of opinion who are willing to turn towards each other and embrace one another despite these differences peacemakers not only keep the peace but also seek to bring people into harmony with each other we could imply uh, in matthew 5:9 that people who have become the sons of god have the character of the heavenly father thus the heavenly father is a loving peacemaker also as it is written in colossians 1:20 that he made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of the blood of Christ on the cross now god reconciled the world to himself not counting our sins against us thus he made peace with us and established an intimate relationship with us just like that you and i are called to be called as believers to be diligent to persevere the unity between believers in the bond of peace scripture that we see in hebrews uses the word pursue meaning to be passionate or to be fervent about the pursuit of peace so god does desire that we be passionate pursuers of peace in all our relationships no believer should allow conflict to fester unresolved in his or her life just as we cannot love god without loving others we cannot pursue holiness without pursuing peace with all men so if we are currently at peace with all men we pursue peace by aggressively maintaining and promoting peace in our relationships james 3:18 says now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace what james is doing here is he's elevating the role of peacemakers and declares that the peacemakers peace loving lifestyle leads to the fruit of righteousness so let us also in every one of our relationships seek not only to pursue peace but also to maintain it so that we reflect the peace of our heavenly father let's pray together heavenly father we thank you for your word that calls us to be peacemakers we pray father that we will be bold enough to restore and resolve conflicts that we may have with each other lord so that we can reflect who you are we can reflect the heavenly father in our relationships help us lord to pursue and maintain a life of peace with those we love in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org